Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions and Happy New Year. And you know, it's unbelievable. A year ago this time, I bought NVMEs for what now seems like dirt cheap because the prices have skyrocketed. AI companies are just buying up all the NAND chips. There's only about five or six companies in the world that make the chips and they're just all being bought out. So the prices are being driven up. That along with the tariffs have just made the prices go through the roof. Let's quickly take a look at the prices I paid a year ago this time and now what they cost. So here's a Western Digital Black 2 terabyte SN850X, my favorite NVMe at the moment, and I bought them for $148 a piece before tax. Now they cost $259. That is a huge increase. And then also I bought a lot of these to put in my little NAS and they were $114.99 for two terabytes are now like gone way up 238 they were 114 that's before tax you know it's absolutely insane and of course apple's prices are still insane right so you go buy two terabytes for a mac mini base model and you're paying 800 dollars so it's cheaper to buy an external enclosure and an nvme but unfortunately those prices have gone way up and i also have a video on replacing the internal drive in the mac mini and i'll leave a link for those in the video description. The point is they've sold out of the base model version, the two terabyte internal third-party SSD upgrade. They only have one terabyte modules now, thanks to all the AI bros buying all the chips. And then the Mac Mini M4 Pro, they still do have the two terabyte and the four terabyte, but they've raised their prices as well. So even though all the prices have gone up, Apple's prices are still higher than anybody else's. So it makes you wonder, will Apple have to start charging more for their products or will they keep their prices the same in the hopes of getting more market share when everybody else has to jack up their prices? The iPhone is reliant on these chips. So are Macs, so are iPads, you know, their whole product line. It's going to affect the whole industry. It'll be interesting to see what happens with Apple. They don't manufacture these chips themselves. They have contracts and they have a certain amount of price swing allowed within the contract but they're not having to pay what the consumer is having to pay right now. Their prices are so jacked up to begin with, but at the same time, it will affect their bottom line. So it'll be interesting to see what Apple does going forward. So if you wanna save on that Apple tax, check out my other videos. My last one is about moving your home folder from your internal SSD to an external SSD. Not having to pay that Apple tax for a large internal SSD or upgrading your Mac Mini installing a third-party SSD. Links down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.